Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my Happy Planner Classic Dashboard Planner, which I use for social media planning. And this will be for the week of December 25th through the 31st. So if you'd like to join me for this plan with me, then let's get started. Okay, so for this week's spread, I am going to be using the Live Love Posh, a chic Christmas um, sticker book. I love this one so much. I really have been enjoying using it all throughout the month of December. So I'm going to be sad to, uh, <laughs> to put this one up uh, come January, but this has been such a great um, sticker book you know, for me to use. So I want to be using some stickers out of here. And then I pulled um, some boxes um, that I think will pair well from the Mojo Jojo plans. This is her winter boxes 2.0. And then I also pulled the spring boxes 2.0, um, again, from Mojo Jojo plans. So um, so that's what I'll be using for this week. Um, so as usual, I'm just going to start by taking the pages off the disc. And I cannot believe <laughs> I'm planning for the last week of this year. Wow. It's just, you know, I won't say crazy, but, you know, the year has, has gone by and now the um, final week of the year. And I do want to just also start this video just wishing everyone a very happy um, holidays and Merry Christmas. And um, by the time this video goes up, yeah, it will be on Christmas Day. So just want to um, just wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Hope everyone is doing well and just having, um, you know, a great day and time to spend with friends and loved ones and so forth. So um, for so for this spread this week, I wanted to use um, this set in here that is a nativity themed um, set. I love this so much um, with um, like the angel and Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, of course, um, the three kings, um, camels, and it's got some florals in here. There's two pages of each. Um, and so, yeah, I think this is just such a pretty set and like perfect um, for Christmas. So that's what I want to use for this week. Um, so I'm going to just start by just pulling um, some stickers and just want to I'll look back and see everything that is here and it's got some great quotes okay um, so I definitely know I want to bring in some of these florals and maybe this scene here I can do kind of at the bottom of the page and Angel, I definitely want to bring in some of these quotes, Silent Night and Holy Night. I did also see some towards the back of this book, some additional quotes, so, so pretty. Christ the Savior is born, and the Noel is well. Um, I like these are a little bit different, kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it, maybe paint or ink swatches, and just grab a few more of these florals. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this one too. Again, I love that you get two of each 
goodness book. I'm gonna grab that other, yeah, bigger sticker here too. Trying to lift them and not tear them. <laughs> and um, as I said, I know I saw some great quotes back here. Also, um, of this Jesus is the reason for the season. And I think that's good on quotes. So let me um, just grab a few more of these smaller pieces as well. And I think the colors I want to go with are going to be kind of this navy. Um, and it's kind of a peach pink color. So I did see in this winter, this really pretty navy. Um, and so I want to grab maybe these for the headers. Okay. And then Um, maybe I need one more header sticker. Let's see. Okay, and then in here, this really pretty, like, peachy pink. Yeah, I think that will match really well. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> my problem is I don't have a ton of them left. Um, this may be one of my most used box sticker books. Um, so maybe I'll have to go with, yeah, I don't have very many of like the next size up at all. So maybe I'll grab these two, just put a few highlights and then I can grab in the same size in the navy. All right. Okay, so I think that is going to be great to get us started, and we'll see if we need anything more as we um, move along. Um, so let me just make sure. Yep, good and centered. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start by just widening out sections here. Um, just because I like to relabel these um, for myself. And I think I'm going to grab some washi as well, um, which I have this one that is just this simple kind of diamond pattern and it's a gold foil. I think that looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna bring that to the bottom of the page just to kind of give a little anchor for everything else to go on. Oops. I think I had pressed down a little bit too far. I just changed the blade um, on this Eco Tools knife, um, which I do have linked down in the description box below of all my videos over to Amazon. And yeah, it is very sharp. I love the Eco Tools um, knife there because you never really have to touch the tip of it. It's retractable. And then even when you go to change the blade, it has like this um, slot to, I'll just show you really quick because I have it right next to me. Um, it has this slot, which I didn't even notice it, but um, you put your used blades on one side. <sighs> if I can get it open. Um, yeah, put your used blades on one side. Just put it into that slot there, just like this, and it stays in place, and then you grab your, um, or your old blades there, and then you put in your 
grab your new blades and you just kind of line it right up um, and you never have to touch or screw in um, anything and this is I don't know if I should have <laughs> replaced the blade you know by this point I've had this um, craft knife for probably um, a year and this was the first time I changed the blade and it is like super sharp so um, definitely check that out if you're interested in looking for um, a craft knife because that works really well. So um, just continuing on, I think I want to just very quickly go ahead and put this down on this side of the page, the right um, side of the page as well. And then that way I can put some florals down. So yeah, I don't even have to press nearly as hard as I was. So that I guess that should have been a sign that my blade was getting kind of dull um but yeah and um the the knife and those blades came together like a five or six pack so it's going to last me a long time for sure okay so i think let's come back over here and maybe we'll put this one to the edge I'm just starting right at the bottom here. Okay. And the other thing that I picked up recently um, are these scissors. Oh, these cut like a dream too. <laughs> oh man, I have been missing out. So these are the uh, Fiskars um, Titanium Nonstick. And I've used um, a pair pretty much identical to these, but it was like the, a teal color. Um, and I picked those up from Amazon um, as well. And wow, they're very smooth. So, um, and I like that the tape um, or stickers don't stick to um, the scissors. So that's really nice. So I'll have those linked down below. Um, so yeah, time to kind of <laughs> refresh my tools. I know I did a video um, earlier this year with my favorite tools. So I can link that maybe down below as well if you just want to see kind of all the, um, all my favorite tools that I enjoy using for planning. Um, but yeah, uh, I definitely notice a huge difference. Um, those just cut so well and they're very smooth so um so down here at the bottom i'm just creating this little scene of bethlehem and um I put a quote down christ the savior is born and so now i want to maybe let's put let's put the angel up here so Um, let's put the angel up here and I'm going to just do it with like this box just to layer it. I use this section for my Instagram post, um, and maybe something like this would look nice. Mm, no, I mean, I'll use that on the other side of the page. So how about this piece over here along this side? And um, I'm just going to put it right on top of the punches. Not a big deal. I can uh, just punch that out and I think it looks better kind of on top. So that's pretty. I'm just smoothing everything down. It's uh, a gift card. And I think I want to put maybe a few little florals here. Oh, 
Okay, that and just kind of grouping those pieces together. Oh, that's pretty. And just right into that corner. And then I'll just use this box. This will be kind of for all my different um, filming tasks and so forth. And speaking of filming, I um, definitely has been <laughs> this last uh, weeks or so forth, or certainly um, throughout this entire month of December has been nonstop for me. But I have so enjoyed all the content, um, you know, that I've created and shared on my channel throughout the month of December. I definitely want to thank everyone for um, your feedback and watching um, my shorts um, that I posted as part of Plan Miss. Um, I did 31 days of um, daily planning and, uh, and decorated kind of a daily sheet every single day. Um, and so that was a lot of fun and I just, I really enjoyed it. And I have to say, um, I did have one of my viewers comment about kind of just like the pairing of the music to, you know, like the spread that I had created for that day. And it was kind of, you know, going down memory lane as I was, you know, just picking out different Christmas songs and just kind of reflecting and remembering all these great songs that I listened to growing up with and, um, you know, throughout December and for Christmas and so forth. So it definitely was so much fun and just very nostalgic. <laughs> I have to say, um, as I was just, you know, picking out the songs and really enjoying not only um, in the spreads that I created, but listening to the music as well. It was definitely a lot of fun. So um, I wanted to mention that I did create a playlist on my channel for all of the daily um, plan miss uh, daily um, videos, um, those short. So if you want to, if you missed any of them throughout the month of December, if you want to, you know, just go back and watch any of them, I will, um, ha I have created the playlist already and I am going to finish out the rest of December um, and finish out the month um, for the 31 days. So, um, so I did want to just highlight that to everyone that I do have um, a playlist um, for that on the channel. And I'm just going to put another piece of washi down because I want it to go all the way to the edge. I think this side looks great so far. So I'm gonna just move on to the right side of the page. And I, again, just want that washi to go all the way to the edge. And one other thing that I wanted to highlight um, on my channel is I did um, already post my lineup for 2024 and all of my um, planner setup videos, which I really love watching and enjoy creating, um, you know, the, the and just setting up my planner uh, or planners. So, um, I have posted all of those videos now, and uh, so if you missed any of my lineup and what I'll be using for 2024, um, I do have all those videos posted, and um, I have also created a playlist for um, the my 2024 lineup and planner setup series, um, just so that you don't have to kind of scroll through and, you know, search around and find everything. I have all of those grouped together um, in its own playlist as well. So um, yeah, so just, you know, trying to just get things organized and, and hopefully that will make it easy for everyone to uh, to find and, and view. Um, so I'm like really loving everything so far, how everything is coming together. And I think, um, for 
for um, for the rest of the right side of the page. I think I just want to put a few more touches to it. So instead of the 2023, yeah, I think I'm going to wipe that out and put this floral sticker over in the corner here. And I think that will fit really nicely here in this spot. And it's okay if it's covering up Monday um, or the word Monday. I know that's Monday. Um, and I think I want to maybe just put layer this one here. Also, that's pretty. Just right up in that corner. And I will also share a few more videos that I'll have coming um, this week on my channel. My um, word of the year. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to have a plan with me for that and sharing my word of the year. Uh, and then also I'm creating a, um, a goals page, just a simple um, one page goals page to go into my planner as well. And, um, and so I will have that coming up on my channel too. So yeah, just doing all the kind of final preparations for, <laughs> you know, as we wrap up 2023 and moving to 2024 uh, and all the, you know, preparations, just getting my planners ready to go and um, everything on my channel um, set up. So love this so much. Um, and I'm thinking... Um, if I just want anything else, I think maybe, I think I want to just go with Noel and just trim off just that little bit of leaves and just leave the word there um, and kind of fit that here. So... I just want to bring in a few boxes. So maybe a little bit of a zigzag. Yeah, let's try that. So. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put this box here. Just move up, make sure you can see everything. And put this box here for Christmas. And then I'll do this one here. Just try to put it down straight. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's like not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. All right. Okay, I think that will work. And then kind of this final box over here, maybe up in the corner here. And then I want to put in, I have a little bit more room. So maybe I'll put believe here. Okay. Um, and then I'll put Noel here. So let's just kind of just squeeze that in. Just a little bit of trimming. All right. Yes, that's 
really pretty. Okay. Um, and just looking to see if there's anything else. I think I'm gonna just put a little piece of washi here in this section. Just to bring a little bit more color to the page. And then a piece here. So let me just ever so slightly lift up this little floral edge. And I can kind of fit that right in. Okay. And just trim that. And then over here. Okie dokie. That looks really pretty. So I think the only thing um, is maybe my markers. So let me just grab that really quick just to um, put in a few bullet points and just seeing if there's anything that I think would work well with these colors. Um, I think this one might work really well. So let me just grab a sticky note really quick just so I can Dot that and just let it do a quick dry. Yeah, I like the blue, but wish it was a little darker. And let me just do this one, which is more on the pink side. So I think this is going to be the winner. So I'm gonna just do um, maybe maybe five bullet points there. No, that was a bit crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe two here. And then maybe one here and one here. Okay. All right, I think that will work. Um, so really love this red and how it came together. I think it's perfect for Christmas day and Christmas week and just reminding, you know, what the holiday is all about. Um, and yeah, I just, I think this is perfect. So I'm not going to do anything more uh, to this spread. I think that's going to wrap up this plan with me. Um, so definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below. And again, just wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and give me a big thumbs up and would greatly appreciate you subscribing. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends.